I thought I'd take a moment to document two very common patches that I use employing Boolean logic modules uh, in my surge and similar uh, synthesizers. The logic modules themselves notwithstanding, these patches don't really require anything uh, obscure or esoteric or um, specialized in any way. But for the purposes of this demonstration, we will use this dead handy module from Stro Modular out of Seattle. Uh, the Stro Boolean drive is a combination Boolean logic module and sequencer. In addition to the familiar XOR and and OR operations, the Boolean side also has two very nice arcade style buttons. These can generate individual pulses or latched voltages, which we will exploit in the first patch of this demonstration. The drive side is an analog sequencer, boasting most of the features you could reasonably want uh, in an analog sequencer. The sequencer can be clocked externally or using its own internal timer. There's also a directional control, a reset input, and a common gate out this works as a kind of master bus uh, for timing, and individual stages can be muted for uh, greater rhythmic possibilities. One very simple but very important use case is the ability to synchronize and control the run state of your sequencer, or indeed sequencers. So we'll start by patching the clock output to one of the AND inputs here. And then we'll patch up the latch from the left button into the other AND input. Now there are no voltages coming from that latch output yet, so the only thing that's getting picked up is the clock. Let's patch the AND output to the clock input on the sequencer side. The AND operation requires that both inputs be true. So in this case, the latched voltage is effectively an on-off switch for the sequencer. I will also often patch up the second button to the reset input on my sequencers and or clock dividers if they happen to have a reset. And of course, we're not just limited to the constant voltages that we get from, say, the latch output here. In this patch, we will dynamically reset the sequencer using the CV output and uh, voltages um, from individual stages will be used uh, to generate a pulse from an OR uh, operation. And whenever a step crosses a certain threshold, uh, it will generate that, uh, that reset event, like so. This next technique may take a little bit longer to get one's head around, but I use it uh, in almost all of my patches. We'll start by uh, patching the smooth side of a smooth stepped generator uh, to oscillate, and that becomes a clock source for our sequencer here. We will then also patch the uh, cycle output of the smooth generator into one of the inputs of the exclusive OR module. It could be the regular OR as well. There are, there are subtle differences, and you'll certainly hear uh, uh, more pronounced differences at audio rates.
we'll patch the end out of one of our transient generators into the AND module. And building on a trick from the previous patch, we will use the sequencer's output and patch that into the other input for the AND. And now the voltages give us kind of a threshold-based event generator. And you can see that in action here in the lights here coming out of the AND module. We'll patch the output of the exclusive OR into the trigger input of our dual transient generator. The only thing feeding that exclusive OR module right now is the cycle output of the smooth generator. That is giving us effectively a steady pulse that is triggering the transient generator and providing a clock source for our sequencer. But now we will patch the output of that AND into the other input of the XOR. And if you look at the lights here, you'll see that on certain steps where there's a positive voltage, uh, we are completing the cycling loop. And on the steps where the sequencer's voltage passes the threshold for the logic module, the transient generator auto cycles. And this works at both control voltage rates, but also in the audible rate, uh, which has the effect of basically having an oscillator that you can switch on or off, and all this in a controlled sequenced way. And if you're fortunate enough to have something like the Surge Universal Slope Generator, or something with a volt per octave input, you can do some pretty wild stuff. I made this video because I wanted to give back something in some small meager way uh, to the online communities that have been uh, so helpful and valuable and educational for me over the years. If you are on the fence uh, about whether you want to incorporate logic in your modular synth setup or are just not really sure how, uh, I hope these two patches might suggest some possibilities for you and give you the nudge that maybe you need to bring these into, uh, into your own setup. Happy patching.